Hello and welcome. So to begin the process to build our Pandora light, what I have already created is a cylinder uh, with the height. I've given 40.5 and the radius is 12 centimeter. It's just a reference. Okay. So another reference I will create is a rectangle height is 13 centimeter. Okay, so I will begin by creating a simple shape, very simple shape, with the line tool, control, right click, line, yeah, see it's tick. So the line tool is active and you can see it here as well. So I will begin. So click and then click somewhere here and then you leave it right there what I will do is duplicate this shift click and drag make it a copy and I can mirror this in y-axis so you're just flipping it around so I get the perfect symmetry of it go to the edit mode and go to the edit mode and attach so once it is attached, what I can do is go to the vertex mode and then merge this or weld it. So once it's done, I can delete it. So it's a continuous line. All right. As I can see, uh, I can snap it to the height reference I created. There you go. So just center this pivot, no problem. Now what I can do now is either I can just scale it down just a little bit, make it center. Turn off snap, something like this. And okay, so now what I can do is click and this is snapping is on, shift. Okay, let me enable the y-axis, shift, drag, and snap it here. And let's give it a couple of copies so I can delete it later. Fine, so I can delete these extra copies that I don't need. Delete, delete, delete. So you can, now you can see what I'm trying to do here. Fine, so I can delete this as well. All these pieces, I need to make it in one shape. So attach 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 and if I go inside the vertex mode select all and merge weld it all together so these points that are connecting they should be welded together and then right click make it corner so there is no bezier or anything coming out to give a rounded shape so what I can do is select these points and delete it okay now I would like to give a thickness extrude that's too much let's say 0.35 okay and we will give a shell modifier the shell modifier should be on the other side like this all right now you can see the shape is building up if I go to the top view and if I adjust the pivot point, I have a shortcut, so I'm adjusting it. So I, let me snap it here. Okay, I've given the shortcut Alt 1. Okay, you can give whatever you want, or you can come here and say click effect pivot. So if I rotate this, let's say 15. Okay. And now if I give a symmetry modifier, symmetry, okay, so because I rotated it, what I need to do is go inside the symmetry sub level, okay, and then rotate the mirror thing. So we can give the same value 15, you can notice here as you rotate 15, fine. 
so this is perfectly mirrored now the gap over here let's see in our perspective if i give the smooth modifier to remove the smooth you can see auto smooth is off if you give auto smooth and you can give the value you'll get some crazy stuff so i need to remove the smooth so that's why i applied it i need to remove this gap connect these together so the way i will do it is select it turn this off turn off the symmetry so this these points i need to align it with this so this is the shell modifier giving me the thing so if i apply edit poly on top of this and go to the vertex mode i have access to these level of points these points at the back okay so these points i can move and align it with this not snap with this but align like this and then you can move this to further align if you want to something like this really doesn't matter and now you can turn on the symmetry as you can see already so this is our basic shape that we will be rotating this around this shape over here to complete our pandora light okay so uh, we, we can go to the top view and then bring this over here let's align it to the center okay and maybe just bring it here a little bit now what i would like to do is before i do anything i would like to make use of the pivot point aligning to the pivot of this meaning bring my pivot to the center of this so right uh, alt one gives me the access to the pivot and then i will press alt a to align with the circle that i created and now i can align the pivot so i want to align my pivot to the center or pivot so center is the best option at the moment and luckily just keep the center okay and all i want is x and y position the reason i'm doing center sometimes the pivot of this object is to is over here okay so if you are aligning to this object's pivot so it will come somewhere here okay but when you're sure the alignment of the pivot of this object is in the center then you can go for the pivot to pivot but so that's enough now if i rotate it will rotate along this line so the easy way to get this done is we will go to the edit we'll go to edit and we will select sorry go to tool and select array so this is the part i'm interested in because this is the rotation values the first thing i want instance fine no copies only instance and id count is 10 means it will copy 10 uh, give me 10 instances okay so before do i do anything let's hit the preview and let's try to adjust the value from here okay so you keep moving so i think 10 is what we need so see if we can further tweak it to bring it bring this all the way up no so somewhere over here is better okay so just click ok and we'll go to the perspective view just move this just move this and our light is taking shape so what i would like to do is edit poly this object edit poly and let's delete the top and bottom bottom and top delete it and let's try to go to the point and bring it over here so this is i'm trying to give the border 
Okay. That's too much thick, maybe 0 0.5. And if I want to give a same color, I can select the color that I want and then the target object and then I just click and click OK. So the color is applied. Okay. So maybe what I can do is scale this out a little bit. Or you can do is increase the outer amount so it will give me thickness. This is the better way to do it. Now same thing I would like to copy for the bottom. So control V to duplicate instance and we can mirror this down. Click mirror and Z axis. Select Z. Okay. And now it's not perfect so we can just click and align it fine so this is our light the main cage is done so all we need to do is bring in the lamp inside and we will complete it but before that I would like to add the support so the easiest way to add the support is for example if I create a line and let's bring the line to the center something like this okay and then we can extrude the line that's way too much maybe one okay and let's give a thickness so we will give the thickness let's say 0.2 or maybe 0.1 and 0.1 on this side fine and that we can just duplicate something like this instance multiple copies something like this so this is our support and same thing I will click the color that I want and then just drag and select these so that I can apply the same color so if you want need to bring it to the top align it and we can adjust the extrude value something like this 0.5 okay we have the support from the top fine I need to insert the lamp before I do that let's create the support suspension the easiest way we can do is again create a line that goes up somewhere here and then we can give rendering thickness so maybe you can give 0.5 okay and then we need the support at the top oh this is not in center so alt a and then select your cylinder fine and then i can create a circle turn off the make it center and then click and drag something like this and then take this up all the way maybe snap it and just give a thickness extrude fine so maybe you want to increase this if you want to go to point two okay all i need to do is bring in the lamp inside and then we can we can complete this.